Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur. Sri Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur. And he has his commentary. Approaching Tulsi and Malati and other plants, the gopis are thinking, these Tulsi plants are female and they will understand the agony of our tender hearts and surely be merciful. So let us inquire from Tulsi because they approach the, the Ashwat and Plaksha and Nyagaroda and the Ashok and Naga and Punaga and Champak and all these trees which are male by gender and as like most males, they're hard-hearted and they didn't respond and they were silent. Some of them had good reason because they're Vishnu and Brahma and Shiva and they're very sober and, and silent and they don't easily respond to the request of some simple girls from the village. I'm Brahma. And the gopis are thinking, you're Brahma, but Radharani dances on your head. Because your four heads are the Char Parvat of Barsana, Vilatskar, Mangar, and Dangar, and the, where the main one where, where Radharani is. Oh, but that's another point <laughs> for we Brijavasis. Anyway, according to Shukamuni and the Srimad Bhagavatam, they did not reply. But they thought, well, let's go to the tender side. If the father doesn't respond and give you money, you go to the mother and have a better chance. Yes. Then if that doesn't work, then grandpa. Or then that doesn't work, then grandma. So you're bound to score. You have four, cha- four choices. <laughs> so the gopis are approaching that. You'll be merciful to us. So I was thinking like this. They say, oh, Tulsi, you're Kalyani. You're very fortunate. And you're very dear to the feet of Govinda, Govinda Charana Priye. But we are Akalyan. Akalyan means we are unfortunate. Because Krishna has left us. The phrase Govinda Charana Priye can also mean dear to the respectable Govinda. Because the word charna indicates respect. So they're both saying the same point here. And he repeats also Jiva Goswami. He says, the word charna indicates respect as in the expression acharya charan, respectable teacher. And the gopis are expecting that Tulsi will reply by saying, you gopis are also Govinda Charana Priye. You gopis are also dear to the lotus feet of Govinda. And the gopis say, yes, Tulsi, that's true. You are more fortunate than us because you have many attractive qualities. One of the most attractive qualities that Tulsi has is you're never, you're never experiencing separation from Krishna. You're always on his feet and embracing his chest and around his neck. What could be more desirable for a lover of Krishna? The gopis want that fortune. A similar points to Jiva Goswami. Carrying you around his neck as a mala, Krishna has gone off and left us alone. This proves the magnitude of your good fortune. There's another angle Vishnu is showing. He left all of, of us, but he didn't take your mala off or take you off his feet and say, oh, I'm leaving all the gopis and Tulsi is also female, so I'm going to leave Tulsi also. <laughs> So they said, listen, you know, he didn't leave you. He, he went, because as at, this, at this point, they don't know that Krishna went with Radharani. So you're the only girl he went with. The only female he went with was, is you, Tulsi. So you're really Kalyani. So as per his, his uh, expertise, he's expanding it, making it even more personal and special in that way. <laughs> Jiva Goswami Charan Ki Jai.